I just heard that iOS 18.1 might give us aftermarket battery health. I'm so excited to try it. Let's head into iPad Rehab Lab. Here we go. So I can't wait to test this. Let's jump right in. You guys might remember Belinda's phone from my parts pairing video and Belinda's phone has now been updated to iOS 18.1. And we're gonna take a look at her settings. So right now, Belinda's phone still has her original OEM battery from Apple, the Apple branded battery. Now she also has from our previous experiments, oh, well, she has no battery right now. So right now, she has her original OEM Apple branded battery. So this is the original battery. So let's go ahead and check out her settings. All right, so we can see battery, click it, and we can see battery health and charging. So before iOS 18, this is where your battery would say service if you had an aftermarket part installed. Now that was really annoying for customers because a lot of times what would make customers want to come in and have their battery replaced is because they would look right here and see that this number was lower than 100, their battery wouldn't last all day. When you replace their OEM battery and you plugged in a, my favorite one here from Injured Gadgets, the X-Cat battery, when we replace this with what I think is actually a better battery than original, this would say service. So I'm curious what happens on iOS 18.1 when we replace Belinda's battery with an aftermarket one. So we'll go ahead and open her up. And I think I might be able to do this one-handed. All right, we've got that snapped in. All right, here we are with the aftermarket battery. Let's go ahead and check out the battery settings again. Now we've got something new, unverified. So it says battery health and service, or battery health and charging unverified. Hmm, all right, so this used to say service, but now it says unverified. I like that a lot better. First, let's go see, can we actually pair the aftermarket battery? I doubt it, but let's find out. We'll go to general about. We're gonna go to that parts and service history. And then of course, like we, like we saw before, this is Belinda's phone with Belinda's actual screen on it and somebody else's flat illuminator. So that is not recognized by the by iOS as a official legitimate part because this screen and this flood illuminator originally came from two different OEM phones. So we're not going to be allowed to pair either one of those, which means we're going to lose a function of Face ID and that really stinks. But today we're worried about battery. So right now it says battery unknown. Can we pair the unknown part? And it just tells us, I can't tell what battery this is. Now it turns out that this battery is actually better in my opinion than the OEM Apple battery. And here's why I think that. If we plug this phone in to 3U Tools third party software, then we can actually see all of the battery data. So we're data. gonna check that battery health over here up on the display. Aha, uh -huh. so this tells us the truth, right? So now we actually can see the data using the third party free software, 3U Tools from 3U.com. And we can see this new aftermarket battery as expected has been charged zero times. And the design capacity, the new Apple battery design is 2798 milliamp hours. However, this battery has even more than that, 3359 milliamp hours, meaning this battery is actually better. It has more capacity than the original OEM Apple battery, which means that the battery life is actually more than 100%. So it'll take a while before this battery even gets down to 100%. And then we can see you know, where the battery was made and you know, who made it, temperature, all of that good stuff that we can't see in iOS settings. And I like to show customers these details. This is how we've been dealing with the aftermarket battery says service issue this entire time. Just by showing customers a before and after, Here's your phone on 3U Tools where it's you know 87% health. And then here it is after where you can see that it's actually more than 100%.
and then we'll show them that you know Apple says unable to verify genuine cart and they want you to kind of go to the Apple store for the batteries but those batteries really aren't as good we've always been doing that rather than doing crazy stuff that we see out there where people have been taking the board the little chips that are welded to the battery cell people have been taking that and breaking that off and then welding that to another cell just to try and trick the phone into thinking that a new battery is its original OEM battery because that's the only one that can recognize do we still need to do that stuff let's take a look and see what happens all right, so we can't pair the part, but we can go back and let's go back to battery. And now we're going to click right here instead of service, unverified. And when we press it, look at that! Yay! We have our battery health on an aftermarket battery. That really shouldn't be something to cheer about. The fact that iOS has now stopped hiding this information that was always there. We've always been able to see it with third-party software and show customers, but now, finally, Apple is willing to show the customer the battery health. This battery is 100% healthy and here it is, and so you can see that. Now we can't see any of the other juicy data that we can see in 3U tools, but this is a really good start. So I think this is a pretty big win. iOS 18.1, we do get to keep our battery health information visible in iOS. Now, next we're gonna find out whether or not we can keep the other functions that disappear with part pairing, such as Face ID, True Depth Camera, none of those work. So far on iOS 18, we can't pair a true depth camera. We cannot preserve face ID in the situation like Belinda's where the screen is not a combination part with its flood illuminator. And true tone, do we get to keep true tone on those aftermarket screens? If you already know and you've done these experiments or anything else, I'd love to hear about it in the comments, but I'm excited. This is a win aftermarket battery health we can still see it. Hooray!